Hello beautiful souls, Mystic Intuition here, getting ready to do a Twin Flame Collective reading. This is not science specific, so if you are intuitively drawn here, the messages may resonate for you. Okay, um, we're going to focus our energies for the mid to end of September 2023, however time is fluid. That means whenever you're drawn here, the message could resonate as a past, a present, or a future situation. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure you check out your Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I do put out weekly videos for each zodiac sign. Alright, so what is going on here, please, for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine for September, please? What is the energy here? We're going to do Divine Masculine energy at the top and Divine Feminine energy at the bottom. Now, when I say masculine, I am not talking about a physical male, can be male or female. We're talking about energy. Masculine refers to the person who is less awoken, less aware of the connection, usually the runner, okay? And Divine Feminine, male or female, refers to the person who is more emotional, more awoken. Um, so let us see. What is going on for your Divine Masculine right now? Wow. Okay, so definitely could be we have very strong Leo, Scorpio energy here. What's going on for the Divine Feminine? Okay, yeah, this is going to be kind of a specific reading, so if this is not your story, please do not try to force it to fit. Under the deck is the Two of Cups. So for some of you, this might be someone that you view as a friend, okay, that you do, like, obviously there is a really strong, you know, emotional um, connection between you and this person. Two of Cups is about friendship, it's about love, it's about intimacy. Um, a lot of times this can talk even about telepathic connections between, between two people. A lot, yeah, a lot of, like, messages and, like, someone's conflicted about messages. look okay so this might be someone that maybe you do not have like an intimate relationship with or you're not physically with this person right now but there's a lot of communication kind of back and forth between you and this person now that communication could be a bit on and off at times but it's like very passionate very intense but someone is really conflicted about continuing like this communication because it's something about risks or secrets getting caught even we have the Empress Taurus Libra energy this is divine feminine energy we have the eight of cups the eight of Pentacles and the Emperor Aries energy so divine masculine and divine feminine showing up here under the deck it to me it's like someone may feel they had to walk away from this divine feminine and try to stay busy trying to stay focused on some kind of obligation or responsibility that they may have um, let me pull a few, I don't, I, re, I very rarely ever use this deck, um, on my channel. It's just a self-made deck that I have. Um, I do often use this in personal readings, however, but I feel guided to use it today. So let us see. I do not sell this deck. It's just a personal deck. Okay. <clears throat> We have vulnerability, insecurity, fear of inadequacy, loss of power, weakness, or feeling exposed. Okay, and then we have fear, worry, doubt, uncertainty, feeding anxiety, and or nightmares. Okay, we have rendezvous, which says meeting privately, plans, secret union, keeping it quiet. Mind games. Back and forth, hot and cold, disappointed, instability in love. And then trapped, unable to break free, debt being watched or imprisoned. Okay. So I feel like you are, those of you who resonate with this reading, you are dealing with the divine masculine who may already be in some type of prior commitment. And he feels that he, I'm referring to him as he, uh, but could be male or female. They, he feels that he cannot break free from it. He feels trapped. He feels stuck. There is a desire that is there. But this person is so back and forth. And I think that you kind of see that. But it's, it's also really exhausting for you. Because as much as you want it, as much as you're trying to be patient, you know, there's such strong chemistry and love and excitement and passion here. It's like a lot of push and pull. 
It definitely can feel like this person is playing mind games. Like one minute they are all in, they're giving you so much time and energy. The next minute they kind of disappear or they go silent or they go quiet on you. And it makes you consider, like, is this going somewhere? Is it not? Am I wasting my time? Will, will something come of this? Will this person make a change? But this person is so fearful of moving things forward, fearful of getting caught, fearful of some type of conflict. There could be someone you know, who is against them and does not want them to be with you. Even if it is strictly a, a friendship for some of you. Now this may be, like I said, someone who is, you know, very strong and, you know, confident and maybe very successful, but there is a sense of vulnerability here, loss of power, like they gave their power over to another person, you know, who has some type of control, who keeps them stuck, who keeps them in their head. Now, for some of you, this could be about, you know, asking to see you for some of you. Like there's just something about like, that initial touch, like they're showing me like, you know, two people who's like, you know, holding hands or like embracing or something. And it's like that feel, it miss, that immediate feel like their skin against yours. And it's like uh, electricity, like running under your skin, like that, that spark, that like intensity. So in your Divine Masculine's thoughts with the Death card, I think that he fears that it might be over. What is he thinking about you in this connection? What is he thinking about you in this connection? What is this Divine Masculine thinking? There's uncertainty. He doesn't know what's going to happen. The clouds is something like a fog or confusion. You cannot see past it. Um, something is blocking the situation. He doesn't know how to overcome it. You know, you can't just shoo the clouds away. You cannot blow them away. It's like, you know, will they clear up? Will they not? You don't have control over it. Um, the Death card talks about endings. So for some of you, this could be something that you've been kind of on and off again with in the past, but you may not physically be with this person right now. They may think of the situation as something that has ended and they don't know how to revive it or they don't know how to move forward with it. Something has changed in your relationship with each other. Now in their feelings, we see the Ace of Pentacles, which is about new beginnings. It's about possibilities, creating something, growth, an offer. What does this person feel towards you? What does your Divine Masculine feel? Loyalty. I will always, always find my way back to you. The dog, you know, like, um, like I mean, the best way, the, the dog, like they were the most loyal companion you will ever have. Somebody who will never leave your side. Somebody who will always be there. You know, they will always come back. You know, it doesn't matter if they get lost, they will find their way home. Don't give up on us. Don't let me go. I don't want to let you go. Somebody who feels like you're destined at some point to have this really beautiful new beginning with each other. Because you've always been there for each other. Loyalty. Love. This person does recognize that you have always been there for them. No matter what they've put you through, what you've both been through, you will always be there for each other. Their intentions, well, with the Page of Cups, this can talk about an apology for some of you. They may want to apologize about the past and maybe how things kind of uh, unfolded, especially like this back and forth, mind games, like uh, energy of a confusion. What are their intentions? What is this? The sun. Clarity. Happiness. The sun is the happiest card. You know, so this can talk about like truths coming to light, expressing of feelings, opening up whatever secrets had been there, exposing them, coming clean about everything, you know, um, really opening up to you, making you feel safe, trying to make you feel comfortable. This is a masculine whose mindset is really shifting. Somebody who, you know, does see that things have ended or things have kind of been complicated. This is something they're fearful of. They don't know how to make this happen, but they know that it starts with some kind of honesty with you uh, and some type of vulnerability. What actions can you expect from this Divine Masculine? Again, we have the sun. The sun showing up twice. So again, this is about, you know, friendship, love, warmth, answers. 
you're getting news from this person about a, re a, a renewal or a cre creating something, st the stork. It's about new life, new beginnings. Again, the death card is about endings, but endings that bring forth new beginnings. This person also, for some of you, if this person may already like to be living with someone or married to someone, they can be thinking about potentially ending something, maybe with a Scorpio. I'm hearing the name Sandra. Or Samuel. I have I have initials R S. This is news that is coming to you about a new beginning. This is something that's going to make you happy, but you have obviously have a lot to consider here because how you see the situation. This person has been walking a tightrope and unsure of what decision to make. You view this masculine as somebody who has choices. You versus this, whatever this other thing is. Another person, a job, you know, whatever, fa toxic family, can be many things, addiction of some sort. This person, you, you, I think you see the risk. And I think for some of you, you, you're kind of in this place too of like, if you revisit it with this person, it, you know, it could make you vulnerable. You know, you've got to be careful because you're, we're walking a tightrope here. This has been very back and forth in the past. And you don't want to get burnt. If you fall, look, there's nothing under that tightrope. If you fall, who's going to catch you? Will it be this person? Will they be there for you? And again, in a way, I feel like you and person have been there for each other. But I don't feel like you've been able to physically rely on this person 100% of the time. It's like maybe emotionally, but physically have they been there? And that is part of your hesitation. How do you view this situation? What do you feel like needs to happen here? How do you view this situation? What is going on? How do you view this situation, please? How do you view it? There's two doors. This person has to choose between you and potentially another person or another situation. And they have to decide what is it they want. And you need to be certain that this person is really fully choosing you and letting go of whatever else they may have held on to in the past. In the feelings here with the Ten of Wands, you can feel very weighted down and very burdened. Personally, the Ten of Wands does show like a lot of struggle, stress, anxiety, feeling very tired. But it is one of my favorite cards because it basically symbolizes endurance, perseverance, you know, never giving up, no matter how hard it gets. You know, standing up, dusting yourself off, and pushing forward because you know tens are about completions. So this is moving into a new cycle, a new shift, a new change. How do you feel? How do you feel? This situation has definitely tested you. You still feel bound to this person. I feel like some of you have tried so hard to move on or move past them, but you still feel them energetically. There's something about this connection that's unlike anything you've ever experienced. And maybe you have tried to fight it, like head versus heart. Like, I shouldn't do this. I shouldn't explore this. I've got to be careful. I've got to protect myself here. I know what I want. I know what I deserve. Trying to walk away, trying to emotionally distance yourself, trying to stay busy, but it always comes back down to this person and like waiting for something to change. How do you feel about the situation? How do you feel? You just feel like there needs to be some kind of clear direction or path or answer. And I am seeing 22 and 11 here. So for some of you, as you could be seeing numbers and synchronicities like that. Um, <clears throat> intentions or what you feel needs to happen. Well, this is about reconciliation. This is about reunion. This is about two people who have history and a lot of love for each other. What do you feel like needs what do you feel like needs to happen here? Okay. For some of you there can be some emphasis here on like family or like news getting out to family. The star also can talk about like twin flame reunion. So this person kind of maybe introducing you to friends, to family, making this very public to other people, word getting out about your relationship. Especially for those of you who may have dealt with some kind of secret relationship or affair even. Um, this can talk about this becoming public to other people. 
you know, Twitter, social media, announcements, uh, engagements, wish fulfillment, coming together and, you know, making it public, being, you know, being in the public eye. It doesn't mean that every, you know, aspect of your relationship, you know, has to be public, but you want that recognition from the world that you are together and that, you know, you are moving forward, that you love each other. That's important to you. It means something to you. And of course it does. You know, you want to be with your person and you want it to be known. And that means that whatever they may have had in the past, they have detached themselves from it because they're moving forward publicly with you. Actions or like advice for you. We have the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups, you know, can talk about fulfillment of wishes, desires, being really happy with something, really focused on a lot of positivity and a lot of success around you, really focused on you. This person is coming to you. I don't think you have to chase this person. I think this person is coming to you. What advice is there for you? To be careful. Somebody may not like, okay, somebody may, like a karmic energy, somebody may not like seeing you happy or seeing you and this person together. So be careful. This person may try to come between you or cause drama or like they may be jealous, spiteful. Yeah, this, this is not somebody I would trust. Now this could have been an ex, a baby mama, baby daddy, whoever. Like this could be somebody who they had some kind of relationship with. Sometimes it could even be family. They're not going to want to see you and this person together. They're going to be very upset, very jealous. Um, but I think that this is about happiness. The announcements, you know, friends, family, you know, getting together. This person wants to reconcile this. They think about new beginnings here. But there has been someone that may want to tell you this like, in a private meeting. This Divine Masculine wanted to see the Divine Feminine privately to have a discussion with her about their future. But it's like something about be cautious, be careful of these other people, of this gossip. Like, yes, you should have your relationship public, but this person, you know, there's a difference between a secret relationship and a, and a private relationship. Secret is nobody knows you're together. Private, you know, is people know you're together, but nobody knows your business. So just be careful. Like, someone's going to use whatever they can to try to come between you or sabotage this relationship. Um, what advice is there for you in dealing with this person? What advice is there? To stay strong, to stay centered, to not let this person affect you, you know, trust in your relationship and your person, really have that strong foundation, that anchor to each other, um, you know, try to distance yourself as much as possible from this person. I know that's hard for some of you, like if maybe if there are children involved or something, but um, they're, they're, they're not going to just let it go. They're going to be very upset and like hold a grudge and very spiteful. What messages does your Divine Masculine want to pass to you right now? What messages does your Divine Masculine want to pass to you right now? We will be together in Divine Timing. You deserve so much more than I can give to you right now. I have cried for you. I'm anxious to be alone with you. Yeah, we kind of go back into that rendezvous energy. Like, this, they're privately, like, in the shadows together talking. Like, again, I got that energy, like, that first touch after a long time or something. Or it's, like, just that instant, like, spark. You have stolen my heart. I need more time to figure things out. You have always known the truth. I am working on the dark parts of myself. So yeah, this this masculine, they want to open up to you. They want to tell you all this, but they need to do it like privately. They may be worried about like messages being intercepted or watched. They want to talk to you about all of these plans privately to, like, in a, some kind of meeting. There's an opportunity here for a new beginning. They're just saying be careful because this other person will watch and they'll be very upset. It doesn't matter what other people think or say. It only matters what you and this person really truly want to, to follow your hearts. Um, but somebody is not going to be happy about it. So just do what you can to protect yourself from this type of negative energy. Be careful. Um, this person is working to kind of change something in their situation. They want to see you. They want to make this plan to be with you physically and have this discussion with you about the future. So that is what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I do offer private readings if you're interested in booking with me.
there is a link to my Etsy shop in the description box below. I am currently running a sale right now. No discount code is necessary. The discount price will automatically apply. Um, I have a timeless playlist linked in the description box below for more videos like this one if you're interested in watching those. Um, thank you to those for you who donate and send in donations. It is truly appreciated. As always, I wish you strength and I wish you many blessings. Bye-bye.